Okay, so as you can see, this is a super requested video. A lot of people have asked me what I use on a day-to-day -day basis, and honestly, I love videos like this. If you don't know who I am, I'm Zach Levitt. I am a gear addict, I'm a runner, I'm a D1 runner. I run a lot, I run like 80 miles a week, and so I get to run through a lot of gear and test out a bunch of different stuff. And so I have a kind of refined palette as to what I like, and I have a ton of gear to show you. And so if you're a guy or girl, don't worry, because a lot of this gear applies to both of you. And so I'll link all the products I talk about in the description down below. And I'm not sponsored by any company to say any of this stuff. This is just my own opinion, all the things that I love to use on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's get into this. So the first product I want to talk about is sitting right behind me. This is the newest pair of shoes I have gotten and they are the Nike Air Pegasus 35s. They're a super standard pair of shoes. They just have a really good ratio of cushion to rebound and they feel really great on the foot. They lost a little weight from the previous version and so I decided to grab a pair and I've been loving them. They're really classic shoes and this is a 35th generation. My dad actually used to run in these shoes which is kind of crazy that we're running in the same shoes that, you know, craziness. But I use these as everyday trainers. I do long runs, workouts, a little bit of everything in them. But I have two other pairs of shoes that I also use as day-to-day -day trainers that I'm going to show you now because I kind of want to chunk these together because really it depends on which ones are my favorite at the moment. Okay, so the other two pairs of shoes are the Skechers Go Run R2s. I believe that's what they're called. These are a pair of shoes that I made a video about a while ago and I actually wore them today for an 18 mile long run and they felt incredible. My legs were thanking me that I wore these. They have a ton of cushion, but they're still springy and light, so it's a weird mix of things, and they feel really great. And so if you wanna find out more about this shoe, I have a review on my channel. I'll link it in the cards over there, but I'll show you the next shoe. So the final shoe that I'm gonna talk about for a second is the Hoka Nepalis, and these are an incredible pair of shoes. As I said, all these are incredible pairs of shoes because I have really run through a ton of different types of shoes and I've come to find that these are my three favorites and the three ones that I'll reach for without question and just know that I'm gonna have a great ride, feel great, and just be doing well. Okay, so at this point you may be thinking, I have way too many pairs of shoes and you're probably right. But in all honesty, I use all these shoes in different ways and even though they are all my daily trainers, I use them when I'm feeling different ways. So the Skechers are a little bit better for when I'm feeling kind of bad and then the Nikes are a little bit better for when I'm feeling like I want to go fast. And so basically what I'm saying is that they each serve a different role, but they all are equally valuable in my rotation of shoes. Okay, now back to all the gear. So the next piece of kit is a book and this seems odd, right? But this book, well, it's not actually this book. I actually listen to it on my phone as an audiobook. So Running with the Buffaloes, the book I want to recommend is a book by Chris Lear and it's basically a book about the Colorado Buffalo season in which they had just a bunch of things happen. It was a really crazy season and I don't want to spoil too much so you should just read the book. It really helped me just find a new love for the sport. When I was listening to this audiobook in the last part of my senior year during outdoor track I had some of the best races of my entire life because I was just so inspired and it put me in such a mindset to be really motivated to run and get out there and train every single day and so it kind of turned my mindset around so if you're in a tough place if you're looking for some motivation definitely check out that book running with the buffaloes amazing book i'll link in the description okay next piece of gear the next piece of kit is a little bit interesting it's a long sleeve shirt from 32 degree heat and this is an odd piece of running kit i don't even know if it's really meant to be worn while running i mean it's just a shirt it's a long sleeve shirt that i wear as a base layer it's really thin but really warm and super cozy and i love wearing it under jackets or pullovers and it just serves as a really great base layer in the winter and I've been loving this. My mom got me a couple of them from Costco. They're only $5 a piece so obviously I love a great deal and a great shirt. This is their long sleeve in black and I have another one that's like gray slash heathered. Um, but really nice, really stretchy, really soft. Big fan. So I'm going to quickly get back to shoes and these are the Hoka Speed Goats. And these are a really interesting pair of shoes. And basically they have lugs on the bottom because they're made for running on trails. And I actually got these for my trip to Yosemite over the summer for hiking boots. Um, but I also knew that I'd be wearing them as running shoes. And there are a ton of trails around me now that I end up wearing these on. And if I know I'm just going to the trails, it adds a lot of traction to my run. And it really makes me feel a little bit safer. And if you're somebody that runs on trails a ton, I couldn't recommend these more. They are a little heavy and the breathability is kind of low, 
but they are really good shoes that feel really great on the trails. And I know Hoka also released a new pair of shoes for trail running called like the Torrents. And I think they may be around eight ounces, so they're a really light shoe. And I'll also link those. I've never run in them, but based off what these felt like, based off Hoka's reputation, I'd assume that they're amazing shoes. So I'm also gonna link those. This is a trigger point roller, and for the longest time, I just had a really standard foam roller. But over the summer, I ended up getting a really great deal on this trigger point roller, and basically, I was at REI's garage sale, and I got it for $20. It was a super steal, but this is a really great roller. There's a piece of PVC pipe in the center, and a bunch of foam around it, and it's just really great for getting a really deep roll or massage on your legs. I really love this roller. It has definitely been an essential part of 2018. I've been using it a ton since the summer, and it's really helped me work out a lot of close call injuries I've had with running so much. Okay, so as you can tell, I have a lot of favorite pieces of gear, a lot of things I love using, and a lot of things I use on a constant basis. And the reason for this is because I really do love all this gear. I'm not just saying this because, you know, I have a bunch of things I like. I really love all these things and all the things I'm recommending are things I use on a daily basis. So I just wanted to remind you that these are all really special to me and things I really enjoy using daily. The next piece of gear I want to talk about is running shorts because I have basically two pairs of short shorts that I like to wear. I like to wear Nike and then I like to wear Boa. And I'll talk about the Nikes in a second. But basically, bow are super, super cheap and super minimal shorts. They're bare bones. They're basically the shorts, the liner, and a little key pocket, and a little drawstring. And they're about $20, so they're really cheap, and you can get a bunch of pairs of them and kind of load up. And especially in college, when you definitely can't do your laundry as often as you want, having a bunch of pairs of shorts can come in handy when you're running a ton. And so I really love these. And to not leave you hanging, these are the Nike pairs. And I don't know why, but whenever I put on these Nike shorts in particular, I just feel so fast. The material is just extra, extra light. And the way that they're designed just make me feel really fast, really efficient. And I really just, ah, I, can't, I can't stress enough how much I love these Nike shorts. I will link this pair in particular and like put quotes around it and be like, this pair is the one. Um, these are probably my favorite pair out of my favorites. Okay, so these are the Nike Zoom Flies, and these are the regular Zoom Flies, and these are the Zoom Fly SPs. And basically the SPs just have a really thin, light, kind of translucent upper, and then the regular Zoom Flies have a normal, a little bit thicker mesh upper. And so these are really great shoes. I wear these a lot for tempos and longer, fast stuff. So if I have a 10 mile progression, I'll probably be wearing these. And yes, you may be thinking these kind of look like the 4% I just did a video on, and I'll link that video in the corner if you haven't seen it but they are basically the cheaper brother to it that is not as good. And basically the reason that they're not as good is because they don't use the Zoomax foam and then they have a little bit of a different shaping and then they don't have a carbon plate, they have a polycarbonate plate, but they still are really great and they're a really cheap alternative that makes you feel good, feel, makes you feel poppy, springy. As another side note about the Zoomfly SPs, they're really great for traveling because they look really snazzy and they kind of can blend in as your day-to-day -day walking around shoes but they also serve as your running shoes. And so you can kind of do a two for one there and cut down on the amount of things that you pack. Um, even though you're not really supposed to walk around in your running shoes too much because you might kill the life of the foam, it's worth it sometimes when you're traveling. Okay, my next piece of gear is this Diamondback headlamp. And basically I love this headlamp that's bright because it is super cheap. I got this for about $20. And for me, I sometimes end up going on night runs because, you know, sometimes things get in the way. But I go on night runs and it's really important to have a headlamp for safety and for being able to see. And this $20 one by Black Diamond really gets the job done while not breaking the bank. I get a lot of people that ask me what is the watch I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a Garmin Forerunner 230, which is a really great watch. And honestly, I got it a couple years ago. I think it was about two and a half years ago. And so I recently changed the band to this Neon one because my other one was breaking down. But it's a really great watch, but it's kind of outdated now. A lot of the newer watches have on-wrist heart rate, like the 235. So I definitely recommend getting one of those if you're thinking about getting one in the 2 Series. But the Garmin 400 35 does almost the same things for a much lower price. So I'd honestly recommend getting that one if you're trying to save some money. If you're not trying to spend $250 on a watch, Honestly, the next watch I get will probably be the Garmin 400 35 because it's just a great deal and it has a lot of amazing features and it really gets the job done for a great price. But yes, right now I'm using the Garmin 400 230. And now I only have three more pieces of gear to show you all. The next piece of gear I'm talking about are my favorite shirts. 
So basically, I always try to reach for a Nike dry fit shirt if I have one in my dresser. But if I don't, then I'll probably reach for some other random shirt. But honestly, I always try to go for these Nike dry fit shirts because they feel amazing, they feel really light, and they really feel like I'm not wearing anything. And honestly, that's kind of what I strive to feel like when I'm running. I try to feel like I'm not wearing anything. And so all these clothes that I wear, all the different shorts and shirts and shoes and socks are pieces of clothing that really help minimize the feeling of clothes on my body. And I just like feeling light and you know very free when I run. That's just how I like it. Really great, dry fit, amazing, greatness. Okay, so I got in a lot. There are technically four different things I wanna talk about, but I grouped this into one category. Specialty socks, which is a weird category, but I really love these compression leg sleeves by CEP. They're not just the leg sleeves, they're actually the socks. And the reason why I like these more than the leg sleeves is because going down into your foot kind of helps with the circulation. I feel like I get more circulation. I've had the leg sleeves and the socks really do it a little bit better. And since I've been running so much recently, I really need something to help support my calves because my calves are kind of weak. And so the extra support provided by these socks really helps me as a runner and really helps me feel good every single day. And I end up wearing these after I run also for recovery because they help circulate blood through your legs, and kind of flush out the toxins while helping you recover. And yeah, really great pair of compression leg sleeves. And on top of that, I love wearing Swiftwick socks. I'm almost always wearing Swiftwick compression socks if I'm not wearing the CEPs. They kind of have that element of feeling as if I'm wearing nothing and I kind of just forget about my socks when I'm wearing these. They're really nice, they're really expensive but I've ended up just accumulating pairs over the years, asking for them for different events and stuff like that. Cannot recommend more. Okay, so it's finally time to talk about my last piece of gear. And my last piece of gear is hats because I end up wearing hats on almost every single run, which is a little bit weird, but anyone that has seen me running or knows me as a runner, when I'm training, I'm always wearing a hat. I don't know what it was, but a while ago over summer training, I started wearing hats and I really fell in love with it. It kind of helped secure down my hair and make me feel like less things are flapping around and this was one of my first hats I got and actually one of my neighbors Cabal Hatchet gave me this and so thank you Cabal for giving me this but this is an amazing hat that I really really love but it's kind of fragile and I got a teeny hole in the back of it so I'm very careful with this one and I don't really know where you could buy one of these they're pretty specialty it's an Iron Man triathlon wetsuit hat so very specialty but this is a hat that I've worn at a ton of different events and you'll probably notice it in a ton of my videos but the hat that I wear now most of the time because it's pretty fragile is my Nike track and field hat this is from Pim Relays and I really love this hat it just feels really good on my head it fits well the brim is really nice it has a soft spot in the middle so it doesn't like poke into your head and so it's just really comfortable really well made has some really good sweat wicking material here and yeah I put in a lot of miles in this hat it goes hand in hand with my Iron Man triathlon hat and on top of that I have this the run experience beanie for the cold weather to kind of keep my ears warm and keep my head warm it says earn your miles which I really love it's pretty cool really great hat that I've been wearing recently but that wraps up all the gear that I'm using right now in 2019 so thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed if you have some more gear to recommend to me comment it down below tell me what gear you're using but this is all for today. I'll see you next Tuesday. Live happy, be healthy. See you soon. Oh, I